The story of Samson in the book of Judges shows one of the most amazing and puzzling characters in the Bible. Given superhuman physical strength by God's Spirit, he did unbelievable brave acts to defend the people of Israel. However, his complex inner struggles led him to make serious mistakes that finally cost him his sight and life. In this video we will look at Samson's life from different angles. We will check out the historical setting when he was called as a judge over Israel and his supernatural anointing. We will also see his awesome feats of strength done by the Spirit, as well as the weaknesses that made him vulnerable before his enemies. Finally, we will draw spiritual lessons from Samson's experience about the true source of power, the importance of obeying God, and how our real strength shows up in weakness. To properly understand Samson's life story, first let's look at the context in the book of Judges. After taking over Canaan under Joshua, the tribes of Israel fell into a tragic cycle, falling into idol worship led to being ruled over by pagan nations, then crying out to God, who raised up a judge rescuer to save them. But when the judge died, the cycle started over. Judges chapter 13 brings in Samson as the judge God called to free Israel from the rule of the Philistines. The Philistines were a pagan people occupying the Mediterranean coast who were bullying central and southern Israel. For 40 years, Samson fought against the Philistines with a mix of awesome feats and a personal life full of issues. His story takes up chapters 13 to 16. Let's look at his divine calling. Samson's calling as a Nazarite. Samson was called by God even before birth to be a Nazarite with a special mission. Nazarites took a special vow of dedication to God including not cutting their hair and not eating grapes or drinking wine. The angel of the Lord appeared to Manoah's wife, who was not able to have kids, and announced she would give birth to a son who would be a Nazarite and begin to save Israel from the Philistines, Judges 13 verses 2 to 5. The angel gave her very specific instructions about the special diet and habits Samson should have as a Nazarite dedicated to God. When Samson was born, the Spirit of the Lord began to stir him, probably from a young age, Judges 13 verse 25. Now let's look at that extraordinary spiritual anointing. His supernatural anointing of strength. What set Samson apart from earlier judges was the immense physical strength God gave him through his spirit, and the Spirit of the Lord began to move him, Judges 13 verse 25. This phrase or similar is repeated when describing his feats, Judges 14 verses 6 and 19, 15, 14. The Bible clearly credits his power to the anointing of the Spirit of the Lord on him. Let's analyze some notable examples. In Judges 14, on his way to his wedding to a Philistine woman, Samson is attacked by a raging lion. And the Spirit of the Lord powerfully came on him, v.6. Samson rips the lion apart with his bare hands like a young goat, clearly superhuman. Later he passes the corpse and finds a beehive with honey inside the lion, which he takes to share with his parents at the wedding. In another show of strength, he bets 30 Philistine men they can't solve his riddle in seven days. When they unfairly get it right, he kills 30 men from Ashkelon to pay off the bet, then simply goes home. But the most famous example is in Judges 15. After Samson is betrayed by his Philistine wife, he catches 300 foxes, ties them tail to tail in pairs, and puts torches between them to release them into the Philistines' grain fields to burn them down. In retaliation, the Philistines burn Samson's wife. He then savagely attacks them. He struck them ruthlessly with a great slaughter, v.8. Finally, they surround him at Lehi where he kills 1,000 men with a donkey's jawbone. These accounts show clearly superhuman, miraculous strength only explained by the Spirit's anointing on him. Alongside these acts of supernatural power, the Bible reveals serious weaknesses in Samson's life that left him vulnerable before his enemies. Samson's Weaknesses Although incredibly strong, the Bible does not portray Samson as a virtuous role model. On the contrary, character flaws are evident. Sexual Immorality Samson had an unrestrained attraction to pagan women against God's command. He married a Philistine, slept with a prostitute in Gaza, and fatally entangled himself with Delilah. Anger and Revenge Samson had a hot temper and vindictiveness. He killed 30 men to pay off a bet, 
then casually went home. Judges 14. Later he carried out a massacre of Philistines to avenge his wife's death. Judges 15. He repeatedly sought to satisfy personal grudges. Rebellion against parents. Samson wanted to marry a pagan against his godly parents' strong advice. He brazenly defied their pleas to not break his Nazarite vow. Judges 14 verses 1 to 4. Lack of sincerity with God. Samson repeatedly broke his Nazarite vow by drinking wine and touching corpses, which was prohibited. He often used his strength for selfish purposes rather than God's mission for him. His heart was not fully devoted to the Lord. These character flaws, coupled with an ungodly lifestyle, gradually eroded Samson's anointing until he completely lost his power. Let's look at that tragic downfall. Losing his power and tragic end. Judges 16 narrates Samson's final downfall when he foolishly reveals to Delilah that the secret to his strength was his uncut Nazarite hair. Delilah betrays him and enables the Philistines to shave his head while he sleeps, taking away his power so he is captured. The Philistines gouge out Samson's eyes and put him to hard labor in prison. But after a while his hair starts to regrow. In one final spectacular show of strength, Samson makes the Temple of Dagon collapse on the Philistine rulers, killing thousands, but he also dies in the act. It was an avoidable tragic end, had Samson listened to his parents' pleas and remained faithful to God's calling. From this gripping story, we can draw profound spiritual lessons applicable to our lives today. Spiritual Lessons from Samson's Life Beyond his legendary bodily strength, what can we learn from Samson's experience? Here are key lessons for our Christian life. True power comes from God's Spirit, not ourselves. Samson's strength rested in the anointing of the Spirit of the Lord on him, not his muscles. Likewise, without the Holy Spirit we are weak and helpless as believers. Obeying God is key to maintaining the Spirit's power. When Samson disobeyed God and broke his Nazarite vow, he lost the anointing and was defenseless. We must faithfully obey God to walk in spiritual power. Our weaknesses make us vulnerable to the enemy. Samson's flaws, especially sexually, gave the enemy an open door to attack him. We must zealously guard the weak areas of our flesh. Drawing away from God leads to defeat and tragedy. Little by little, Samson drifted from the Lord until he lost everything, including his life. The secret to spiritual success is staying close to the Father's heart. God's power shows up in our weakness. When we acknowledge our limitations and frailty, then God can mightily work through us for His glory. Like Paul said, when I am weak, then I am strong, 2 Corinthians 12 verse 10. Conclusion Samson's life provides a fascinating study of spiritual power and human frailty. It reminds us that true power comes from God, stands through obedience, and is perfected in weakness. May the Lord help us rely completely on Him, walk in holiness, and demonstrate His supernatural strength to fulfill the mission to which He has called us. All glory to Him alone.